Hi everyone, I'm Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park. We've seen a great explosion in subscribers and viewers to a certain number of our videos and the subscribers to our overall channel, and I want to thank you so very much. Uh, one of our videos, USS Johnston Decoding the Wreckage, has really taken off, and that's bled through to some of our other videos. So I thought now would be a good time to almost create what's called like a digital uh, finding aid for you uh, so you can learn a little bit more about the videos that we already have uploaded. All right, I'm a trained uh, librarian and archivist. All right, that's my background. And what we do is we arrange, describe, and make accessible the collections. And that's how I got started here at the Naval Park. Little did I know that I would be actually plugging holes and uh, climbing all over the ships, which I absolutely love, and that I would call that part of my job because it's preserving an artifact. All right, so one of the things that we archivists do is we create finding aids, and then that satisfies uh, the one duty of making things accessible to people because now they can find it, and then I can give it to them. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do here for a few minutes. Uh, we have a lot of videos. Uh, this is our channel here, and I've sorted uh, by most recent uploads first. So what we see here is the Fletcher video right on the top left. Right, boom, there. That has been one of those videos that has really taken off, even though I've only uploaded it about two and a half days ago. I have two videos. We have two videos from Kelly Sullivan on our channel. Kelly Sullivan, if you want to know more about the five Sullivan brothers and what it's like to be a member of the, fa the Sullivan family, obviously you can't get any more primary source material than Kelly Sullivan herself, who is the granddaughter of Albert Sullivan, who was the youngest of the five Sullivan brothers. All right, she has christened her own ship, DDG-68, USS The Sullivans, currently on active duty, and she talks a little bit about uh, her relationship with that ship and what she learned from her great-grandmother, Alita, who christened our USS The Sullivans, DD-537. These three videos over here are pretty cool. All right, we have a Let's Go video, and that's just me and Alan Jordan, our maintenance foreman, just taking the camera and going to various spaces uh, near the peak of USS Little Rock and just climbing up and down some ladders and saying, hey, what was in here? So that's kind of an exploratory video. Pretty cool. I hope you'd enjoy that. Uh, the middle one is very cool. That was an investigation I did from a YouTube commenter who was an old salt aboard the USS Little Rock, and he was a photographer's mate. So he and I worked together to locate where the photo lab was on USS Little Rock. And uh, I talk about some of the things uh, from the historic photographs that he supplied me uh, that prove that that compartment was the photo lab. All right, how does that work? Right in the corner there. All right, that is me going down to the anchor windlass and the capstan, and just discussing uh, the chain system here on USS Little Rock. Now scrolling through again, you'll see right here on these three, right, right there, I did a three-part series on the armaments of USS Croker, USS Little Rock, and USS The Sullivans. So if you're interested in the armaments uh, and the changes, because they were all con reconfigured after uh, World War II. Uh, the USS Escalar, right there, and the Croker, they were on a, a war patrol together. They were part of an attack group when the USS Escalar sank. All right, so that is a video, a little bit about the Escalar and what it said in the USS Croker's uh, war patrol uh, when the Escalar sank. All right, the step forward video right in that corner, right there, uh, I talked to three volunteers who are doing some work in the CIC and gun plot, which is really fabulous for us, and, and uh, they attended one of my curator tours that I do here, and uh, they loved it so much that they were interested in helping to clean up those spaces. 
All right, we do a 9-11 ceremony, so you'll see that right in the upper left. Uh, we were one of 60 sites chosen across the country uh, to do a flag of honor uh, across America Memorial, and that is the videotape of that. That's a very poignant uh, ceremony that we had here this past year for the 20th anniversary. Uh, worship Builders, we talked to an author on Zoom uh, talking about the interwar shipbuilding period, which is, 19, you know, about, he starts in about 1922 and goes right through World War II. So if you're a shipbuilding person and you love that sort of stuff, watch that video and you'll learn about uh, the United States naval shipbuilding process. And uh, if you don't, maybe buy his book. All right, these Bilge Snipe videos right down here. We have four parts to them. That's actually us doing emergency repairs on the Sullivans uh, before we raised the money. We had some serious preservation work to do, and I broke that into four different parts. So please feel free to watch that. Oh, we got Hail to the Senior Chief right there. That's my interview with the outgoing Superintendent of Ships, who was a 22-year Navy vet Senior Chief Airedale, served aboard four carriers, and then he worked here for 16 years, and I wanted to capture him on video before he retired. All right, this one has a great little story right here, right there. Uh, I was contacted by someone in England, an Air Force uh, active service member, who kind of is fascinated with history, and he sent uh, the Buffalo Naval Park a bunch of parts from a P-47 Thunderbolt that crashed into the English countryside in 1944. Uh, the connection with Buffalo was that the pilot who perished was from Buffalo. So he sent me the parts and I didn't know what to do with them. I'm not a conservator. So I contacted a local conservator preservationist here and that is her and I going through her process to preserve those parts for us. Now the plane was buried, they found it 50 years later, and it was buried 30 feet into the ground, if you could believe it. So they just brought it out in about 1995, and again we got them about a year ago, and now looking to, we've conserved them and preserved them, and now I'm looking to get them out on display. All right, worked with the good buddies here at uh, History X channel. All right, if you haven't visited their channel, please feel free. They've got a lot of great videos. Uh, that's me in the background and Ken, who's the host and narrator of the History X channel videos. Uh, that We did a collaborative video about the turrets on the, what was the USS Johnston, but we compared them with the Sullivans, and we're looking to do another video uh, in the future. Right next to that, to the left, I've got a Broadway at night video. It's cool. I stay until midnight, uh, one night during the summer, and I just kind of walk around with a flashlight. So it's a little ghost tour-y, and I do talk about some of the exhibits that are on Broadway on USS Little Rock. All right, we've got Croker opening the ballast tanks. All right, we had some leaking going on, so we open up some of the access hatches and the inspection ports to the ballast tanks. Uh, you know, for both of those, right there and there. All of these videos that uh, have the same uh, interface are uh, videos from our virtual Navy Week from this past summer. All right, so we hosted a virtual Navy Week here in Buffalo, and all of those videos you can look and see what uh, the Navy is doing today. You tour around some current ships on active duty. Uh, you hear stories of the Sullivans. Uh, you know, you hear from Ray Mabus, who was the Secretary of the Navy under President Obama, who actually served aboard the USS Little Rock in 1971 to 1973, I believe it was. All right, we got checking a torpedo tube. All right, so we wanted to see if there was a breach in the torpedo tube. That would be right here. All right, I do a video about the whole classification system. 
All right, so I talk a little bit about uh, why they would be called, you know, DD-537 and CLG-4 and SSK-246. So I give a little background on the history of the hull, uh, the hull numbers and hull identification and the classification systems. Dr. Mary Walker was one of the first individual, one of the first females to win the Medal of Honor, uh, to be awarded the Medal of Honor, and so we had a virtual presentation with uh, a Dr. Teresa, who uh, wrote a book about Dr. Mary Walker, and you can view that if that's an interest to you. So I've got a video about the brig. I've got a video about USS Croker's first war patrol when she sank four Japanese vessels. A little bit about our flags that we have on display. This is a this is a good video here. This is uh, USS Little Rock. Uh, you know, an inside look at the Navy cruiser then and now. So in the collections we have from the Crampways, which was a newsletter of the Cramp Shipbuilding Company, we had old photographs even before the ship was in service of different compartments. So I go to those compartments today and, sh and talk about the differences from 1945 to today, mainly because of her 1960 reconfiguration into a, a, a light-guided cruiser. All right, I talk a little bit about the control room on the croaker. All right, we have a nice video of the kissing sailor. All right, because if you didn't know, the kissing sailor, that famous pitcher from VJ Day, uh, he was a helmsman aboard the USS The Sullivans. So I talk a little bit about him. And then we have other videos, certainly two of the uh, important people here in Western New York, uh, we have John Bobo, who is a second lieutenant in the Marines, and Private First Class William Grabiars. They were both awarded posthumous Medal of Honors. And those are short videos. Those are one of the first ones that I did. Uh, and you can learn a little bit about them. So I hope that you explore our channel, kind of take that deep dive, and... Um, you know, and please leave comments, you know, so if you're watching a video for the first time and you have something you want to say, you want to correct the record, or you want to make a comment, or you want me to go deeper into a certain area that you saw or heard about, I'm happy to do that. And again, to all of our new subscribers, thanks so much. This was a digital finding aid of some of our videos, so you can begin exploring around. Alright, thanks so much, have a great day, and we'll see you in the comments section.